library was vibrant. This place wouldn't have been like this. We weren't asking for millions of pounds. We were asking for our community to be improved. That building is the centre of Easington and it doesn't matter how much money you spend in Easington. As long as that's standing and going to rot, Easington will never look any better. It's an absolute eyesore, but there's loads of things, possibilities that could be done to it, like flats, I don't know, anything really, just... It's an eyesore. See, I'm not from here originally, I'm from same originally. I've been here 10 years, and that is a disgrace. I'd like to see it pulled down immediately, just to get it off our backs. Because it's been a topic in Asian for decades. One of my really vivid memories of being at this school was the day that the, the pit got blown up. Um, and you could just see a really big explosion as they kind of started to, to do away with the, uh, with the colliery. I think that there used to be a really good, strong sense of community in Easton. I don't really see it as much now. Um, obviously things have changed. And a lot of places closing down as well. Um, a lot of the shops down the front street aren't there anymore. A lot of the pubs that we used to go to aren't there anymore. So I do think it has gone quite a lot. Jobs. That's what the colliery wants. Isn't it? Jobs creates money. Money creates enjoyment. Enjoyment creates a better feeling within the environment. If you've got nout, you've got nout to lose. I could sit down here and weep because Hazen Colliery isn't where it was. We can't go back to having the pits and everything, but it's not the same. I'll have to make it into luxurious apartments and tell them that Billy Elliot lived there. <laughs> <laughs>